Hello again, thanks for tuning in. Today's video, nouns and gender. Ah, so in English we don't have gender in, in, you know, there's no gender in a noun. Spanish there is, in all Latin languages, there's gender in a noun. So, the gender of nouns in Spanish has nothing to do with being man or woman, right? It, the, la camisa, this is a, camisa is feminine. Doesn't matter. You know, pantalones, pants, masculine. It, what? Women wear shirts, women wear pants. Men wear shirts, men wear pants. It doesn't matter about being masculine. It's not man or woman. So grammatical gender exists as a means to create structure. That's all it is, to create structure in the language. The gender of a noun is innate. Everything has a gender in Spanish, right? If it's a bridge, if it's a wall, if it's a cup, if it's, it's, it has a gender only for the purpose of creating structure in the language. The gender of a noun is fixed. You cannot, la camisa, camisa is always feminine, period, no matter what. So nouns are fixed gender, adjectives are not, because, you know, it could be a nice, oh, those are nice pants, pants are masculine, that's a nice shirt, shirt is feminine, so nice, as a descriptive adjective, it could go either way, right, it's so, in Spanish, nouns determine the gender and number of the article and adjective that modify the noun, that, that work with that noun. There are many exceptions. There's always exceptions to the rule, okay? Definitely with grammar. So there are many exceptions to these rules, but Spanish noun gender can be described as this. So we have masculine endings, feminine endings. So if the noun ends with o, 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 it's going to be masculine for the most part. If it ends with e, it's going to be masculine for the, for, for the most part. Right, and a ah would be feminine. So o oh, or you know um, a ah, camisa, camisa a ah, is going to be a feminine noun. Ma, which is I know it ends with a, but ma uh, problema tema sistema uh, programa ma is always masculine. Always, you know, maybe a few exceptions, but. Ma is masculine because these words all evolved from the Greek. Okay, so it, it's, they were Greek words, and then the Greek it was masculine, and then Spanish adopted it, kept the sound, but kept the gender as well. Accented vowels, always masculine. Consonants other than D and Z. So if it ends with a consonant, like in, um, you know, it's going to be masculine. Uh, D and Z, feminine. So la piece. Um, or pas, uh, you know, la pas, peace, like, uh, you know, not wartime, but peacetime, pas, ends with Z, it's la, right? Um, and the ension, la vacacion, television, this ION, uh, it's accented O, and, you know, it's like shun in English, but shun is la cancion, the song, feminine, always feminine. And again, the gender of a noun is arbitrary. It doesn't matter. It's not about being a man or a woman. There's no inequality. It's just structure. That's all it is. It's to provide structure and patterns within the language. El vestido, a dress, a woman's dress, is masculine. Because it doesn't matter. La camisa, we already talked about, is feminine. El puente, a bridge. El puente, it's masculine. Why? I don't know. La pared, the wall. It's feminine. Because it is. El, so, and then, you know, different rooms in a house. El comedor, the dining room. Why is comedor masculine? Eh, I don't know. La sala. Why is, why is the dining room masculine? And then the living room is feminine. I, it doesn't matter. But that's just every noun in Spanish has a gender. Hopefully it's kind of explained or, or just kind of helped you understand how gender functions with Spanish nouns. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for tuning in.